today I will be making summer rolls and in Vietnamese this dish is called bò bia. So what bò bia is, it's basically similar to your Vietnamese spring rolls that has shrimp, pork, vegetables, vermicelli and you dip it with your peanut hoisin sauce. Well this roll is similar except that the fillings are different. It contains carrots, jicama, Thai basil, Vietnamese sausages, eggs, and your roasted baby shrimp. And this dish is full of flavors and so healthy that if you're just craving for a snack or if you're hungry and just want a light meal, this dish would definitely hit the spot. So enough talking, let's get into the ingredients. So for my summer rolls, I'm using this rice paper here. In Vietnamese, it's called bánh chang. Over here, I have my Vietnamese sausages. What I did was I boiled them for about 5 minutes instead of frying them. This will give the sausages less oil and will cook it as well. Over here I have my eggs, 1 cloves of garlic, jicama, and this is the vegetable that's going to make the, the rolls crunchy, some carrots, my Thai basil, and my crispy baby shrimp. In Vietnamese it's called rook sai. You can find this at the Vietnamese market. For sauce, I'm using my crunchy peanut butter, my hoisin sauce, this is what you use to eat pho, sugar, and fish sauce. So I have my heat on medium right now. I want to cook the eggs slowly because I don't want to burn the eggs. So after I cook the eggs, I turn off the heat and let the eggs cool down. And it has been about 10 minutes, so this is what it looks like. And now we're going to cut the eggs. So while I'm waiting for my pot of water to come to a boil, because we're going to use this to boil our jicama and carrots, like for 5 minutes. So we're going to come over here and cook our roasted baby shrimp. My pan is already hot on high heat. I'm going to add in my oil. I'll put in about 1 tablespoon of oil. Next, I'm going to lower my heat to medium to low, and I'm going to add in my garlic. So we're going to continue to stir our garlic so that it doesn't burn. Remember, your heat is on medium to low heat. So keep stirring that until you see the garlic is lightly golden. So after you see the garlic is lightly golden, I'm going to add in my shrimp. I'm going to add in about one third of this jar here. Now we're going to stir the garlic and the shrimp together. 
You can see that the color of the garlic is slightly golden and it goes so well with the shrimp. And since this shrimp, it has like a sweet flavor to it, I'm not going to add any sugar. I'm going to add in about half a tablespoon of fish sauce. And my heat is still on low heat. Now I can turn off my heat since the shrimp cooks pretty fast since they're very small. You don't want to cook it too long. Continuously stir it so that the shrimp won't turn black and won't burn on you. And as of right now, my heat is off. So now I'm going to let my jicama and carrots sit here for about 5 to 10 minutes so that all the water can soak out of the vegetables. Now we're going to head over and make our hoisin peanut sauce. Okay, I'm going to add in 1 tablespoon of my olive oil. After that, I'm going to add in 4 tablespoons of my hoisin sauce. You want your heat to be on low. Next, I'm going to add in four tablespoons of my peanut. I want to make sure that you mix it since there's um, the water on top. Well, these are um, big spoons, so they're more than one tablespoon, but you can see how many spoons I'm using. So I'm lowering my heat a little bit more. Then next, I'm going to add in one cup of water. This is half a cup. And I'm going to add in another half. And you want to mix everything up. So you want just to blend everything in so that everything can be well combined. I use crunchy peanut butter so you can still see the little peanut pieces and that's perfectly fine because this dish sometimes people sprinkle um, peanuts on top anyway so just want to give that a good mix as you can see the sauce has thickened up and everything is well combined so now you can see that the sauce is thickened and depending on your consistency, you like your sauce, you can add in another half a cup of water if you like. But if you like your sauce thick, then you don't have to. I like my sauce a little looser, so I'm going to add in another half a cup of water. So now I finished prepping all of our ingredients we're going to roll our summer rolls. And what you're gonna need is a bowl of warm water. This is going to make our rice paper soft. So now I'm going to take one rice paper and I'm going to soak them in water like this. You kinda wanna do it gently so that it doesn't break. Mine broke a little bit here, but I will make it work. So we're going to wait for about 30 seconds so that the rice paper can soften up. So first what I like to do is add in my Vietnamese sausage. I'm going to add in 4 pieces. Next I'm going to add in my 
crispy shrimp here. Next, I'm going to add in my eggs. And my basil. Okay, now I'm going to add in my carrots and jicama. That's a good amount. Now I'm going to wrap the sides. You can see now that the rice paper is soft. I want to squeeze it so everything is tight. You want to hold it down. Squeeze, squeeze. So that's my first summer roll. It's a little bit um, ripped here, but it's okay. We can work with it. I'm going to try my next one. So as you can see, I'm layering it like this because once we roll it up, you can see all the fillings from the inside with the colors um, spread evenly and it looks really pretty. So that's how you make summer rolls, Bob and I think this is one of my favorite rolls because of all the ingredients combined, it just brings out so much flavor. So if you guys like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you guys don't have subscribed already, click that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time. Bye!